could be the worst bitch in the world. If she look a certain way, these weak ass niggas who was brought up by their mama. Yeah. Let me say that again. Mm. These weak ass single mom raised niggas, if they ain't fucking niggas, they caping for a ain't shit bitch. That's the that's that's the epidemic in the black community, man. People don't like to say it, but when you take the man at the house, then the government becomes the father. Then this woman can't wait to dime on their man to so they can get little pennies from the government and replace the man with the government. And you, they they say, "Oh, I am the fa- I am the father and the mother." No, you can't be the father. You can be the mother the best way you can. But a lot of them are nightclub girls, man. A lot of them are more interested in going to the nightclub and turning up with their girls on Instagram to worry about. They don't even care about the children. So these children are being raised by the streets. And they, they grow up and don't not know what a man is, not know what a man's responsibility is supposed to be, not, not, not even knowing who they are. And they make stupid decisions. And they act feminine. And just plain weak ass mofos. Just weak, making wrong decisions, left, right, and center, because they're taking advice from the wrong people. And I'm telling you, man, my motherfucking baby mama is a ain't shit bitch. Bitch tried to hit me with a car. Wow. Bitch did all kind of awful shit to me. So when I say what I said, it wasn't no motherfucking accident. <laughs> when I say what I said, I didn't say it because I'm fucking up. I'm saying this scandalous bitch brought hell to my life. There you go. I got a daughter by her. What you think my daughter grew up to be? I can't. Lessons to be learned. Lessons to be learned. When you deal with a woman that is scorned, maybe for maybe for some reason your relationship don't work out. She will do her best to turn your child against you. Just know that. Know that and know peace. Know that and know peace. When you're dealing with a tankankerous woman, she would turn your child against you because they know that's the worst and most effective way to harm a man. Turn his child against him. DMX woman did it to him. 50 Cent woman did it to him. And a bunch of other people that, that are not even in the limelight. That this woman are doing that to them every single day. You will turn your child against you, man. It's, it's evil. So you have to really scrutinize who you deal with. And as a young person, it's hard to make that decision. That's why you shouldn't be having no babies in your 20s, on your late teens or whatever. No, that's a life mistake. Do not try that. Wait till you're, you're in your 30s when you're a bit older. If your baby mama ain't shit, Remember this next time you nutting the bitch. Ask Zion about this shit because he's going through it. Uh, mm-hmm. No, and he's just starting. Right. Zion, just like John Morant, sorry for pausing this too much. Zion, just like like John Morant, no guidance. John Morant's parents want to be his friend. No. Your kids are your kids. They are not your friends. No. Stop trying to go to, go to the nightclub with your friends and turn up with turn up with your, with your kids like they're your friends. And like, no. No, 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 no. Parents, your kids. Don't be their friends. I know a lot of them want to please the kids because now the kids are the breadwinners. But do not make that mistake. Man, spoil your grandkids like the saying goes. You can spoil your grandkids when you raise your kids. Because if you spoil your kids, you end up raising your grandkids. Right, he just started. Yeah, if he's, you he's fuck with bad. ain't shit bitches, I'm telling you this through trial and error. Mm. Your seeds most likely ain't going to be about shit. Your seeds ain't going to be about shit. Motherfuckers ain't got the courage to say, oh, my daughter ain't shit. Oh, my son ain't shit. See, ain't nothing wrong with somebody with a good heart but misguided. But I'm talking about I fucked an evil bitch and knocked her up. This is the one that worked at Wendy's? It reciprocates. It reciprocates. See what I'm saying? All this shit is the circle of life in America, man. We can all get caught up in shit. But I'm telling you, man, if you fuck with an evil bitch, hey, Zion, look, bro, Oof. my little brother, who if you work out, you'll be a star in the league. That's what he should be focusing on. Focus on getting back in the game. Focus on that. All these girls are distractions, especially this point. Why would you be dealing with porn star, man? 
I'm not even up to J uh, Zion Zion's level at all. And I wouldn't go near a porn star. I wouldn't touch touch them with a 10-foot pole. You see what this... They all they get facials and cream pies and all that gangbang and all that stuff. Who, what? I'm not dealing with nothing like that. You have to have a certain level of self-respect in your life as a human being. There's some things you just you just should never do. There's no way a porn star should be direct messaging you. There's no way she should have your number. Leave your phone at the door. Sign this NDA and vamos after. Get your ass out of this hotel room. Now she's exposing your text online? This is madness, man. This is madness. They don't have any elders. These kids don't have any elders actually giving them advice. They're listening to the OGs. It's a huge difference between an OG and an elder. An elder will teach you wisdom and how to, man how to maneuver life. An OG will teach you the game on the street. An OG will teach you the street life, how to maneuver the hood. But an elder will teach you wisdom will teach you wisdom. That's the most important thing. There's a big difference between an OG and an elder. You gotta get an elder in your life. Get away from them internet bitches, man. Them porn star whores it's and shit. Late. Them bitches trying to mount cases on you it's and, and got them. It? The baby ain't even here. How old is he? Zion is a young nigga. He's like, he's like 21, 22 or something. That's what the issue is. Young nigga. Can you imagine? It? There's no, I'm going to reiterate this. There's no way a man, a guy should be having kids in their 20s. Are you crazy? You will be a better father when you have you, when you have kids later on in life in your thirties, forties, because you've you've hit a certain level of maturity once you pass that thirty three years old. Once you pass that thirty three mark, smooth sailing. You can be a father, or whatever, but not below that. Not not below thirty three. Don't try it. The young nigga. When I say bust down, bitch. He. Which the, one? The. The one that's Both of them. See, the problem with Zion is... The one you put a baby in and the one that claimed this... Did you see what the bitch was saying? Oh, I cannot Zion believe. got a fat nigga head even when he in shape. <laughs> and he got a real bumpy neck. He got that neck bump. He got a hokum head. You can tell he don't believe in himself. That's why he fucking with... <laughs> he fucking with the saw buckets bitches in New Orleans. Bottom of the barrel. Man, them hoes setting you out, homie. They all talking about... I thought it was... Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. They, that's yeah. disrespect, little yeah. bro. We laughing at it because we have to laugh at it. But them hoes don't get no respect for you, man. Mm. If you don't know how to find a respectable woman, homie, you got to talk. Sorry to say, someone like Zion that have hit a certain level of success. If you haven't found a girl right from your childhood that you grew up together. If you haven't found a childhood sweetheart that's been with you the whole time. It's damn near impossible to find a girl now that can hold you down for real. Because you'd be paranoid, man. Are you really here for me or are you here for my millions? You Get a girl that's been with you right from the start, right from the gutter, right from the hood, right from the trenches when nobody knew anything about you. Be with a girl like that. Don't be successful and then start looking for a girl. No. No. That's not the way to go about it. To the OGs in respectable situations. Zion like yeah. a special ed nigga that made it. Right. Oh. I can jump high. <laughs> My nigga, you better get away from them hoes. Them hoes talking hey. about this his baby inside of me. It ain't even no proof it's a baby. Oh. Just straight raggedy ass. Bitches destroying the life of a young man who was obviously lost. He's yeah. lost. Put, now put that man's business. No on guidance. Screenshots oh man, oh, they And that's a that's a known bust down bitch. That, 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 all all of them. The them are right. Yeah, I didn't run across No her. guidance at all. You couldn't afford that pussy, Margaret. She always in the uh 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 for you section. Dang. Oh my. Recommended. She always in recommended. Hey. Let me tell you something, little Zion. Well, look, Zion, he big in the motherfucker. But I'm saying, young mind is Zion. Look, man, you got paper. Well, Ain't no business you supposed to be talking to bitches. You pay for the hoes to come through, and you get down, and you have your people put them out as soon as it's done. Stop thinking bitches your friend. You don't know how to find a friend yet, homie. Nope. You're still young with money. Nope. Can you imagine? Hit that age. Hit that 33 upwards. 33 upwards. I know why I'm saying that. We can talk about all these numbers and all the time. But right now, 33 upwards. Jesus died at age 33, no? Being a motherfucking young nigga with a, 
with a hundred something million dollar contract, my nigga. And, and, no, and look at them hoes. Them ain't even bad bitches, though. Especially that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Damn, them, them <laughs> bitches in costume with makeup and shit. <laughs> they all got thick makeup on and they pose on Instagram. Uh, you think, oh, that's the real deal. You get them home and Jesus Christ, and wash all that off and you have Flavor Flav standing right in front of you. <laughs> I know how, I can see how that bitch look like that. And, uh, and the other one just pretty much outright admitted it. That's a men in black character bitch right there. <laughs> when, when, the, when the other one 